Hi, welcome to a tutorial on how to scan your computer hard drive without getting into Windows. My name is Michael and I'd like to introduce you, introduce you to a little tool from fsecure.com. It's called Rescue CD. Um, a lot of time, you know, when we get infected with viruses, spyware, etc and you can't get back in the window and clean them out so the best thing to do is to find um, something that's bootable um, and this CD will do the work now this CD contains um, Linux operating system it's a very slim down version um, allow you to boot off the CD and run Linux and using the software to scan your hard drive and this is great because um, all those active antiviruses or spyware on your computer will not work in this Linux environment so let's start off downloading this um, file click an online malware scanner on the home page it will take you to another page and you click on Rescue CD. Once you're in the Rescue CD page, you click on Rescue CD 3.01. 3.01 is the latest version at the time of the recording. Then you will be prompt um, to either open the the file or save it. And this is a zip file, so what I would do is um, I would save it. I would save it to a location where I can remember. Um, I, I'm going to save it to F secured directory. As you can see, I already downloaded this earlier. So um, all you have to do is accept the default name and click Save. Once you save it to a location, you go back to that location and open it up, the zip file, using any of the zip program, and extract it to a directory. So as you can see, I extracted this this directory here. So in this directory you have um, three different files. This is basically a quick instruction on how to use this Rescue CD. And this is a very important file. This is the ISO file. Um, it's fairly big and what you need to do is you use your um, CD burner program, DVD burner program and burn this ISO as an image. So that would allow you to um, allow your, your CD to be bo bootable. So, so I use um, Sonic Digital Media Plus version seven to burn CDs. So I'll click copy. Now click burn image to disk. Um, Again, um, by um, burning a file as an image to a CD will allow the CD to become bootable. So this ISO file is going to be my image file, and I'll, all I have to do is put in a recordable CD or even a DVD would work, and then hit burn. Now once the CD is done. Um, I'm ready to remove it and put it into the CD-ROM or DVD-ROM of the infected computer. And then turn on the computer, let it boot from the CD, and once you boot it off the CD, you'll see a Linux loading up. And then you basically follow the instruction on um, your computer. Um, at this point, 
you want to make sure your um, network cable is connected to your computer and connected to your internet router um, and then what this would do is it will allow um, the scanner to download the most up-to-date um, definition file um, with the most up-to-date defi definition file it will um, catch most of um, the new viruses spyware out there um, once it's done cl um, once it's done scanning it will attempt to clean those viruses um, and um, once everything is clean then um, you will present it with the report and you might want to check out the reports and see what um, what got clean and what didn't get clean and then um, at this point you can attempt to boot your uh, reboot your computer and let it boot off your hard drive um, or your C drive which allow your windows to boot up um, if your windows successfully boots up then what you need to do is you um, want to use your um, regular antivirus program and make sure it's up to date with the most uh, recent uh, most recent uh, definition files and um, then um, make sure you do a full scan and as soon as you are done with the full scan um, and everything has been cleaned um, then you should be able to use a computer again so hopefully this little tutorial would help um, especially for those who are um, not um, able to get onto window to do the scanning um, thank you very much for viewing and hopefully I can come up with that another video in the future that would be helpful to most computer user out there. Thank you very much.